Welcome to my new great ball contraption project called the Mining GBC. The plan is to create an integrated GBC layout. Let me show you. It all starts with an inbox of course. And after that a ball pump that will pump balls in the bottom of a crater. This ball pit will be a ball buffer for the rest of the layout. A ramp will transport the balls out of the ball pit into a train which will then transport the balls via tracks to a color sorter. The sorter will also count the balls and will control a counter with 7 segment digits up to 99,000. Two trains will be loaded with orange and white balls on separate tracks to be able to maintain a ball rate of one ball per second. At the end will be a module to bring the two streams back together again. I might try to use the Akayuki ball factory for this and have an orange and white ball in every container. On top of this there will be an emergency ramp, also called stop and go to lunch during events ramp. And the same ramp can be used as a return ramp to create a continuous loop. Or even act as a fence for balls that drop out. At the bottom is the control center with 9 volt train controllers that power all the wired power functions motors. And next to that a train charging station. The three trains will have a loader and unloader station. I expect that the whole layout will be about 6 meters long. I don't know yet if I should theme the whole layout with minifigures, but I plan to give it a factory space vibe with the use of system bricks. I plan to publish updates about the layout and I already have built the ball pump, so let's have a look at that. Together with some GBC building tips and tricks. Here you see the ball pump, designed by some prison, but with power drive on both sides. It's the same one I use in the Star Wars feeder bike GBC. As a GBC design tip, I like to support always both axle ends uh, next to gears. So putting a lift arm next to it, maybe all ready be sufficient. Don't over tighten bushes and gears as this may cause friction. Just wiggle every setup so everything can move freely and move without friction. Mechanical locks can do a lot for your structure rigidity. This is a good example where system technic bricks come together with the new lift arm or beams. With this the axle is properly secured and cannot go anywhere. As axles I like to use the Technic connectors as they will not twist like normal axles. Also I try to place drive gears as close to each other as possible. Every mechanical device needs lubricant to operate well. As a lubricant I use dry Teflon in different places. But make sure it doesn't come into ball contact. This is the dry Teflon I use, also called PTFE. I just spray it in a little cup and apply the brush. Next update in this project will be about the ball pit, so make sure to subscribe. Meanwhile, thank you for watching.